What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Bastion build. This one in particular is on a Bastion sword and board tank build. This is arguably one of the best ways to run Bastion as a tank because of some of the skills that are inherent to the sword and board line on top of Bastion's racial ability or skill. We'll get into that in a second. If you are excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. Another thing too, I do have a pretty sizable Let's Play on ESO on my Let's Play channel. A link for that will be in the description down below. If you're interested, go over and give that channel a subscribe as well because it really does help that channel grow as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, first things first, starting off with the taunt. Being a Bastion tank build, the most uh, uh, important ability you can have being a tank is a taunt. So of course, on the number one ability or skill, we're going to have Provoke from the Sword and Board skill line, seeing as we're, we actually have the Sword and Board on him right now. This is probably one of the best uh, builds that you can have for Bastion is a sword and board type build maybe not this variation depends on how you experience it personally i really like this build and we'll test it out here uh once we're done displaying all the gear and uh skills on an actual world boss to see how he handles it but provoke is again it's probably the most important skill that you can give bastion in terms of a skill and being a tank so hands down it is a great skill has a 15 second taunt uh, uh, taunt ability uh and the cooldown is 12 seconds so effectively given the f uh, given bastion uses his taunt uh which he's pretty good at i might say um it, he has the capabilities of having an absolute 100% uptime with this with ease. I really, really thoroughly enjoy this uh, this skill on him for this specific build, and I think it's mandatory. Moving on is Basalt Barrier. I really like this skill first and foremost. Not only does it uh, create a little damage shield for Bastion, uh, but while the damage shield is on him, his heal ability or his healing received is increased by 15%. So if he is experiencing a lot of damage, you can just do a quick, uh, you know, heal for him or he heals himself on top of that, you know, uh, it would actually heal him for 15% more, making it a little bit more potent of a heal for him. What I like to do if he, uh, which is rare if I'm being completely honest because he manages his health pretty well on his own, but should he be receiving an alarming uh, amount of damage, I just run up to him with Echoing Vigor and it is most of the time, if not every time, more than enough for him to heal himself back to 100%. So having Basalt Barrier is very important to this because of that 15% increase in healing received. Not only that, but it also, again, I'll say it again, it does have a pretty small damage shield, but the damage shield is helpful at any given point. If you can receive any kind of damage reduction whatsoever uh, via a damage shield, I think it's a good idea to have it on. Moving on is Kindle. Kindle is a great heal, a little burst heal that happens very frequently because of the cooldown of 8 seconds. Because of the cooldown being at 8 seconds, you have a pretty decent skill. It's not a massive skill or a heal, but it is a decent skill, uh, heal. I keep saying skill. It is a decent heal at 7,350 uh, health. But the fact that you have it every 8 seconds makes it a pretty good uh, skill to have frequently. So he, he, you'll see him proc this uh, or use this skill quite often in this skill. There's nothing much to say about this skill if I'm being completely honest. It's just a very fast uh, skill, uh, skill to use. He uses it pretty frequently thus keeping his health at a pretty substantial uh, or pretty modest 
uh, level. And of course, as it says right there, used when Bastion or uh, an ally is below 75% health. The reason why it says or an ally is because it can also potentially heal you or your group mem members. It's actually a pretty decent skill all the way around. I really enjoy this and I think this one is also another mandatory skill alongside with Provoke. Moving on, this right here takes advantage 100% of Bastion's max health. And because Bastion inherently automatically has 3% uh, more health because of his, uh, here I'll show you actually, because of his racial ability, uh, has 3% max health and 3% damage done, he right off the bat has uh, this skill be more effective than Miri. Uh, so, it, it, what it does is gives you, gives him a damage shield of 25% of his max health for 6 seconds, right? Because of that, and him having inherently higher health naturally right off the bat, he is able to use this skill to a greater effect than that of Miri, uh, or frankly any other companion for that matter at the moment, because no other companion has the ability to have 3% more health other than Bastion. So this skill is very important to Bastion. I think, honestly, this is an, the third skill that I would argue is mandatory. There's only one skill, in my opinion, out of this bar that I would consider a flex spot, and that's probably Basalt Barrier. Uh, you could probably put Ritual Salvation in there or something else, but uh, whatever floats your boat. But I like that for what it is. Uh, so this is 100% a mandatory skill. It's a very powerful damage shield that holds up for eight seconds or six sec uh for eight seconds excuse me uh or six seconds but the cooldown is eight seconds so you only have a two second uh overlap which is fine because you also have a secondary damage shield over here and heals other heals to keep his health up not only that but you also uh can offer some healing capabilities for him as well uh the last regular skill is Drake's Blood. This is the skill that I would put on absolutely any build because I love this skill. This skill, what it does is uh, it heals them for 25% of the max health uh, and reducing the damage taken by 20% for 8 seconds. So not only does it do a damage reduction for Bastion, but it also heals him for 25% of the max health. This would this is a great skill for any build whatsoever, but it's maximized to its fullest potential on a tank build because of again that 3% max health passive that Bastion have right out the bat for his for his class ability or his racial ability, excuse me. This skill is imperative. This is a great heal. It is uh it, he does use it quite often. Uh, it is activated only below, only when he's below 75% health, which is a very high threshold of health. So you will see him actually using this quite frequently, uh, uh, given the cooldown is already established, of course. But once the cooldown is done, chances are he's probably going to be using this heal again, because this is a great heal and it has a pretty... Uh, it's activated at 75% health, so it's not really an emergency heal, but it's a very potent heal right off the bat. And again, because of the damage resistance, it always helps Bastion or any tank build whatsoever, but specifically for Bastion because he's the only Dragon Knight, of course, um, companion. But should this uh, be activated, it's hands down a great ability. Last but not least is Unleashed Rage. This is a very powerful... Uh, ultimate for Bastion, seeing as he does 11,355 flame damage to enemies around him, and he actually spews out uh, four lines of fire out of that explosion that deals an additional 2,838 flame damage to everybody who's actually hit by those lines. This is a pretty strong uh, ultimate, and because he's using sword and board, he is actually up close and personal to the enemy, so you will be able to maximize the effectiveness of this ultimate. It's a great ultimate all the way around, guys. I really enjoy this. Very powerful. Uh, it has a 159 uh, ultimate cost, so even uh, it's it's a pretty decent uh, ultimate cost all the way around. Just period, right out the bat, this is a very powerful 
ultimate for a companion and I really thoroughly enjoy it so let's move on to the gear all right so as I always say I like to gear up my companions in a 552 uh, type of system right and that is basically to mirror the effectiveness of the gear sets that you know your own personal builds on your tunes uh, work right that they work with you know two five gear sets and a two-piece monster set unless you're working a mythic but that's not applicable here with a companion so it's five five two however uh, this build is a little bit different. I'll get to it in a second. Uh, we're gonna start off with jewelry and weapons first as the first five piece set. Uh, starting with weapons, companion sword in the vigorous uh, set. This is to maximize the effectiveness again to that 3% max health that Bastion already has. This is going to make your, uh, your, your heals your uh, Drake's blood stronger, your on guard stronger, and right off the bat is just a great trait to have on Bastion for this specific build. And of course the shield again with the vigorous and all of the jewelry is again vigorous. This is a very important trait for this build. Because of that, the second five piece set is also going to be vigorous. All in heavy of course, all in heavy, and all in vigorous. To, again, maximize the effectiveness of your damage shield and your healing capabilities of Drake's blood. This is pretty important. Uh, I don't really have to say much about it because I've already, you know, hit it really hard. Uh, but I will say this. It is that important that even the two-piece set is also vigorous. Yes, every single piece on this Bastion build is 100% based on the vigorous trait. Because of that, your uh, your on guard is going to get buffed and your Drake's blood heal is going to get more heals. So you're gonna get a larger damage shield and a larger heal, not to mention your racial skill or passive that has 3% max health. So this ends up being a pretty powerful defensive build for Bastion and this is ultimately the best setup that I have used for Bastion and it works absolutely the best. In terms of style it is very simple very basic guys it is all imperial heavy armor essentially all in the highest number so it's all four for the weapons is imperial it was supposed this is supposed to be a sword first and foremost let's go ahead and change that really fast but there you go now it's all better so it's imperial sword 4 and imperial shield 4 in terms of dyes it's red diamond uh, i love that color for anything that has to do with imperials i wonder why uh master gold which i'll probably end up changing uh for blood gold because blood gold just looks a lot more beautiful if i'm being completely honest although uh blood gold does look a little bit uh, uh or master gold right yeah master gold looks a little bit more rugged so i don't know you guys let me know if you guys like one or the other but for the last color is cyrodelic sil uh, steel
So there you have it guys. That was the Bastion tank sword and board build. This was a very fun video to make guys because this is one of the most effective ways to run Bastion as a tank as you guys saw in the, in the boss fight. Now it did get interrupted in a sense because two other players ended up helping Bastion in the DPS department but it really didn't bother me much because Bastion did everything he needed to do and it actually proved the point that Bastion keeps the taunt up 100% of the time and he is able to you know stay aggressive and keep his heels up all in the same time it all worked out for the better in my opinion so if you enjoyed this video guys definitely do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow also leave a comment in the description down below if you plan on using this build or if you are using a similar type build let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments down below so with that being said catch you guys in the next one Deuces. <laughs>